Howdy friends, I'm on this website, olivertravels.com I was given the link by Dave Holly, and I'll leave a link to Dave's channel in the description and I'll take a quick look down below Guarantee perfect wedding day weather with Oliver's Travels published January 23rd 2015 so we've had seven years at least of weather manipulation as any regular visitor to our blog knows we love helping prospective brides and grooms make sure the only hiccups on their big day come from the champagne a huge range of luxury destination wedding venues coupled with our dedicated wedding, wedding consultant to help arrange catering, entertainment and any other extra services you happen to want come to that mm -hmm. means we've made countless dreams for the big day come true but no matter how meticulously everything is planned from the seating plan to the all-inclusive wedding venue the one thing we could never guarantee was perfect weather for your wedding day until now 2015 yep in order to ensure the most perfect of perfect days and possibly with an eye on attempting some cunning super villainy in the near future we can now offer our customers a cloud bursting service that can 100% guarantee 100% guarantee fair weather and clear skies for your wedding day imagine the amazing photos that will be captured by BLVD photography currently available to customers organizing a destination wedding in France though we're looking to expand to the UK and Italy if it takes off the service employs the talent of pilots and meteorologists and takes over three weeks to plan and uses silver iodide to seed the clouds essentially giving the weather vapor something to condense around to produce rain costs start at £100,000 which is a fair old whack of cash but then again you can't put a price on perfection right? Um, you can't put a price on perfection does perfection cost money? more info on booking the service can be found at our dedicated page but if you need to know more check out our frequently asked questions below how did cloud seeding begin? it may sound like schmeyer's fiction but cloud seeding was developed in the 1940s by US chemist Vincent Schaefer a laboratory discovery led to the realization that flecks of dry ice converted supercooled water droplets those existing as water at temperatures lower than freezing as in clouds to ice crystals trials in the atmosphere soon followed and operational and research cloud seeding projects began in the late 1940s early 1950s <sighs> How does cloud seeding work? Cloud bursting, aka cloud seeding, is a form of weather modification causing clouds to drop rain and dissipate quickly. Cloud bursting works by dispersing substances into the air containing supercooled water in an attempt to cause them to disappear, modify their structure, or alter the intensity of their phenomena. Did I read that correctly? Phenomena? Phenomena? Phenomena. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Cloud seeding is now considered a mainstream tool. Primarily to improve rain, precipitation, and snow. 
New technology and research have produced reliable results that make cloud seeding a dependable activity. Does it make it right though? Is cloud seeding bad for the environment? The activity of cloud seeding has taken place since the 1940s and there is no evidence that suggests cloud seeding creates any significant negative environmental impact on the environment. Doesn't create any negative environmental impacts on the environment. Hmm. Did they pay for this to be written? The published scientific literature clearly shows that no environmentally harmful effects arising from cloud seeding with silver iodide aerosols have been observed, nor would they be expected to occur. Now, this was um, published 2015. That's seven years ago. How, does it, how long does it take to burst a cloud? The cloud will be burst over a period of 24 hours. The project itself will take around three weeks in all. It would take a week to get the aeroplane, pilot and meteorologist to France and back. The crew will need to be on the ground at least a week before the event. Is it dangerous for other planes? Each country has its own rules. Oh, we don't care about that. I'll leave a link to this if you want to read it. Can success be guaranteed? Yes, success be, can be guaranteed. However, if a natural disaster such as a hurricane were to occur, then this cannot be tr controlled. So, can success be guaranteed? No. Could there be any arguments about cloud ownership? <laughs> oh God, oh my Lord, help us please. <laughs> oh, could there be any arguments about cloud ownership? Occasionally, <laughs> oh my God. Is this for real? Occasionally, rows break out between countries over who owns the rain from clouds. However, nothing has ever been proven. Isn't cloud seeding unnatural? Scientists have been modifying weather systems on a much larger scale than cloud seeding projects for a number of years. Right. I'll ask the question again. Is or isn't cloud seeding unnatural? Scientists have been modifying weather systems on a much larger scale than cloud seeding projects for a number of years. So the answer should be, quite simply, yes, cloud seeding is unnatural. Cloud seeding is unnatural. Otherwise, it wouldn't need the intervention of man. Let's whip to the top. Uh, let's take a look at what they've got in the UK. And that's pretty much selling you a holiday. I'll leave a link to this. David recommended actually ordering some wedding day weather. If you're getting wed in two weeks time, don't bother. It's not enough time to organize your cloudless sky. Or if like me, you'd like a day of, you'd like a proper white wedding that was with snow, they can doubtless give you snow. But I would recommend not using Oliver's Travels for your holiday because they're pretty much evil. Yeah?